I feel very optimistic about today's session. I feel it's gonna be very stable. Hello, welcome back to the Venice series everyone. In the last part we completely failed to prepare for a war, suffered some serious skill issues during the fighting and lost. But in this part we are about to witness one of the iconic moments of this entire campaign and it involves an ongoing conflict that we have seen throughout the series. That is of course Japan versus the Qing Empire which is essentially just China and they can officially form that when they own all the cores. The Japan player was temporarily booted off the nation for toxicity surrounding an incident between him and his fearling Ethiopia. They have since reconciled the original player as back after spam bot the host played the country for an hour or two. But anyway let's get down into the actual stats. How do Japan and the Qing Empire compare with each other? Well, in total population, China still has about a 12 million advantage over Japan, which is like the size of two European countries. And that just shows how high the stakes are in this war. If Japan does win, then he might be able to overcome that pop advantage, and then it's over for China. Most of Japan's pops are obviously conquered Chinese pops, so China's massive advantage in accepted pops is going to give him a huge mobilization advantage, which we'll see in the military stats. China is having to abandon education texts to get military texts, which is having a massive impact on his literacy. But if China doesn't get these military texts, those Chinese people will will be learning to read Japanese. Here are the army numbers and Japan's technologically superior army is outnumbered quite heavily. That military tech advantage is dwindling, it's not as big as it used to be. That's one of the advantages that Japan has going for it. The other one is its industry. Japan has the world's number one industry right now at 488 points, compared to China's 91 points, which is just getting off the ground really. Japan is able to comfortably reinforce and supply his entire army by himself with his own industry. This has been a really interesting conflict in the series so far, and this fight is going to be legendary. Also in this part, we're going to see some stuff happening from South America, where Virtual Rock, the former Ottoman player, is now on the Incas. And across from him is America, which is, interestingly enough, a Japanese feeling, comfortably sitting there getting immigrants building up. How can these two nations sitting in the corner possibly affect world geopolitics? Let's find out. Just so you guys know, Onions might have nation ruined and left, oh, but I still oh, punished him. You punished him by lost joining him in the first place? Well, no, I punished him like after what he did, the nation ruining. I, I think that's the funniest message I've ever got right there from Plantagenia. Help me, let's eat village, fuck you. <laughs> I had to eat your and shit. It's a sub. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Actually, it's the new permanent player. Look at the Incas. This is stupid. What are you doing, Virtual Rock? I can just sell you the territory, I'm just here because I'm bored. Right, give me it. How much do you even have? 267k. I can give you a lot more money, I'll save up. Whatever. I'm just here because I was fucking bored. Was well, like, you are playing in South America, so... Yeah, Spambot, did you get rid of my five? Oh, no, you didn't. What? <laughs> yes, yeah, Spambot deleted your generals. Because he played money. it, so I didn't know if he deleted my general stacks. You can't know. delete... Uh, okay. General yeah, stack. I mean, he deleted yeah. the stacks. Why are you giving crafter territory? That's a good, very good, excellent question. Well, it was based on a previous deal with Fat Guy. Man, why would you man, honor a deal with man, Fat Guy? Guy is a great player, and I respect him. I beat the shit out of Yo, Fat dude, Guy because he was a weak until yesterday. Why are you partition me, man? You moved the Turkish capital to Edirne. Ah, uh, the die is cast. Is this a, a Rome reference? My white moogles oh my god. Isn't that actually just true fishing? Wasn't that, wasn't that after a year? He literally can't get there really at all. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he can get mill yeah, access yeah. through some places. I can get mill access, what are you talking about? Why, why did he join talking? this? It's my ally, I'm joining Dude, him. Dude, at, at worst, he can't get to you at like... Best well, he can do okay, a little bit. Like, this is really there. nothing to care about. It's something to cry about though. Cry about. Oh, I think Lizard can find better things to cry about. How much money do you want, Virtual Rock, anyway? Do you see his AI? No. Yeah, you see his AI. Wait, really? My mill, I guess. That's a bit steep, but. I literally I mean, didn't uh, uh, say. Dude, fucking 20 infamy. You're not using infamy for anything else, though. This is having a more rough time down in China this time. Wait, can we keep a pause for longer, please? Hey, can you keep a pause for a bit longer? I don't think you paused it enough. Can no you pause no, for like three no more minutes? Is he popping Plantagenia? 
Yeah, he's probably oh, oh, oh. Because the you thing double, is, you need, you you need to is. get all the cores. Oh, yeah. You can't I'm truce break right now because we are at war with play war. So. Okay. Can't declare on someone on a player war. Or what? Or I'm gonna kick you off the game. This is not yeah, the first well, time. Still be a war my AI. Yeah, this is why you don't let mean people back on the countries. He didn't it's even quit. Deleted factories. Daystar acts like we can't revert 15 days. Daystar, I literally told you. We definitely can't revert 15 days at the start can of the you? session for a bit of infamy in England. Sorry, carry on. <laughs> well, if you're gonna stay here, abide by the rules. I wasn't planning on breaking. It sounded like a bit like you were, mate. So when you said you were I going to, you were just I said, oh, what if joking? I did? Hey, Japan. You're so Thank dead you line. again for the railroads expert, Cuckman. Lizard. You're welcome. Small. Uh, don't fucking talk to me. No, no, no please. <laughs> please not Is there small. Lizard, grand lizard. Please. Okay, I'm leaving. Please. I'm you muted himself. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Doc, hey, we should add more shitty things to the mod. No, Glizzard. Glizzard. Oh, Glizzard. 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 <laughs> Glizzard, what? What's the joke with Glizzard? I honestly don't get it. Uh, Glizzy mean, Gobbler? I don't know. Then yeah, Glizzy. You wouldn't get it. Arna's not really that far behind in Noltech anymore. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm happy I'm not in Lizard's channel right now. Oh no, he's, he's dead. Muted. He's, he's muted. Here. He's muted. Oh, oh, oh. Why, why is Lizard in my channel? He's deafened and he's put on fucking music, fucking heavy metal, to hype him up. No, he's war. putting on like heavy Japanese like music. Got the he's helmet putting on, on. Bio drip. He's putting on thigh eyes. You know, actually, Spike, can you also spear me? Japan's friendly, huh? No, I'm about to be at war with America, so. Okay, if I do the transfer war now, I'll sphere you. Can the sphering that I'm aiding you with cut off a bit of the price? I mean, sure. I just need funding for this war. Alright, I'm decking the transfer war. Can I, how long have you got? Oh, you don't have long, he's decking instantly. Oh. Mm, yeah, he's already decked. Well, I'm gonna add you to sphere. Right, I'm gonna see how I can add war goals on you. Uh, why did Belgian join this transfer? Hello? You became the war leader, you fucking mouth breather. Aw, oh, dude, it's over. Platt's done. He's getting combat with memed against a 5 attack. I told him I joined war. He allied me because I'm truce, but he just didn't. It also seems like it's over for Japan. Wait, is he actually? Oh no! Really? And he's oh, lizard. No. Lizard. Lizard is getting blown out. He's dead. China's getting blown out. Small guy's getting. Who's playing Chen right now? After all that shit posting, huh? The Scorpio guy. Scorpio. Yeah. Wait, he's not yeah. playing his Scorpio. Armies. It's that Spanish retard. I mean, he is winning with a two to one brigade advantage. Lizard so finally gets really that Super impressive. Well, it's a miltech disadvantage in an industry China has disadvantage. Now, Lizard won all the past wars at a very. Wow, it also has one fifth world. the industry. Yeah. It shouldn't be able to reinforce at all. Listen, virtual rock. I'm unable to add a war goal on you. I'm going to try my best to do it as soon as I can. Just look at the Taiwanatsu John Cena. It's like a picture of Reno. Yeah, it's over for Lizard here. Oh God. Lizard has more men coming in. But dying. He's not really know. cycling effectively. China's attacking somewhere really else, I think. Effectively. He See, like, he's reinforcing back, some of it now, but he needs to, like, he needs to cycle this shit, dude. I would pull back to this hill tile. Even if he wins this and he pushes the Japanese out, he's so ridiculously behind on culture tech. Yeah, but look at the. I mean, he can take everything. He can take everything. That's war. Uh, once he has all that land, he wins. Japan won't beat him again. Honestly, tragic. Have you ever heard the tragedy of Lizard the Femboy? That Lizzie was sure talking a lot of shit for someone who's getting whacked. <laughs> <laughs> Lizard is a toxic personality. I mean, you did delete all your factories, Daystar, so I don't know if you. Yeah, know. yeah, I'll admit that. I was. I mean, I'll admit I was at a moment of weakness. Yeah, I was like a crybaby. I was all angry and mad. It was lame. You're in a heated gaming moment. It was cringe. Damn, all that shit, Lizard. Talking all that shit, man. He's Bro. deafened, dude. He's deafened. He's deafened. <laughs> he doesn't he's want in to the, He's in the fear bunker. He's coping. Cover right your now. ears. He's, he's, he's in the fear bunker. He's also not oh, he's actually like getting like he's 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 He needed to play defensive. I don't know why he's still. He's getting combat. It's fine. He, even if he's in China. But I mean, he does still have a- He has, like, four Meltex advantage. 
Yo, Spambot, next time could you do the um, <clears throat> fucking color generals, please? Like in, in the kind of Yes, that, that was on, that, that was Why do you on want the your agenda? generals to be colored? Generals of color. <laughs> that was that was on the agenda. The U.S. military is recruiting time. more generals of color. I'm more thinking, dude. Uh, you probably him. Lizard's actually slightly winning one battle now. Finally, he's not gonna win the war. Prove it. Prove it. You know, Crafter, give me a source for that. Citation. Uh, I made you it. You had up. to play a de defensive because <laughs> the Miltech is like close now. Kill it's issue. really hard to do a controlled retreat. He can do a controlled he retreat by drawing a rectangle over his whole army and clicking Korea. This is how this is can still win. The oh, problem God, is he no, really just true. needs to reorganize, but he's literally doing like a sunk cost he, fallacy in these battles. He's trying to keep he's the battles going. I mean, he has four yeah. friends, but he can do evac. If he has like lots of transports, he can like retreat his army out. Right, virtual rock, my ship is actually making it round to the Incas to block AG. But now he started a new battle. If any European wants to help, I can form oh, Arcadia one Lizards war. lost 50 brigades. I am in a yeah. unique position to form Arcadia one war here. It's over. You're Lizard, in a unique bro. position to please shut down. I am. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's true too. That's true too. Lizard, Lizard could actually do a controlled retreat. Oh no, they're going into... Wait, he left Shinkan open. Is the Ching... Oh, Wait, I guess the Ching is adding... In the south. If that. the Ching... If Ching goes into Shintian, why are they not going into... Oh yeah, they're going into Shintian. They could potentially just Ching. destroy his entire army. Oh, there. Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's over. Send the peace deal, dude. Oh my. Uh, I'm adding more stuff in this transfer. That's why you don't join random moving. transfer wars. Sorry, you're gonna stay at the war. Dude, and he still has 20 transports just sitting yeah, in the Yangtze Delta. Lizard moment. Is this John Cena just chilling over there? Yo, Bing Chilling! He needs to get those guys out of Laozhu. Laozhu. Uh, if they attack Tianjin, it's over. Oh, it's completely over it's in that case. It's Come on, China. Oh, it's over. It's over. <laughs> you are alone. It, it, it is. He can still he can still transport his army away and be safe. Uh, he doesn't have enough transports to get. Uh, have you uh, spam mod? Have you ever tried moving three? Oh, look, look, he, he's doing it. He he's doing it right now. He's doing it. Doing what? He's yeah, he's transport, out of transporting out. his like army away. He has a fair amount of there. troops in Tianjin, but they're un unorged. Mm. He still has 20 transports. Do you think 20 transports can carry 300,000 men? It's 40 transports. He 20. still has his other 20 transports in the south doing nothing, and they're also about to get attacked by a Chinese navy. <laughs> they did. Uh, Wait, look, look at. He's winning in the south of China. He's winning from fucking Bengal. Damn. Yeah. Lizard's winning one front. I don't know why he has 100,000 troops down there. Oh, he's shadow funded? He's not shadow. What does he mean? He wasn't <laughs> well, you his can army's reorged. Wait, is that why he, he wasn't reinforcing? Arms? Wait, was he actually shadow funded? He was shadow funded, dude. Oh, yeah, he must have had Artie. shadow funded already. Is that oh, a, oh my god. A skill issue I'm seeing mm. there? <laughs> Yikes. How do you not notice that as soon as you start fighting those battles? A very common a mistake. But that dude. actually just single handedly lost Lizard the war. Spam, oh, you wow. actually fucking sabotage me. I'm actually pissed. This like, entire time I've been shadow. Where is Japan retreating? Uh, okay. he's, I'm he's, they're walking into the sea. Wait, they're walking <laughs> into the sea. <laughs> Wee. You start retreating them to transports, but move them away. <laughs> Wait, if the Chinese move out of there and the Japanese go back into Wu Ding, they'll stack wipe that. This is so weird. I've actually, I've actually been sabotaged. I've actually been sabotaged. Sabotage. <laughs> sabotage. <laughs> I haven't even been fucking sabotaged by the beast. Yeah. That, that was not intentional. Yo, the lizard, retreat to the forest. Forest. Retreat. To the forest. Retreat. Maybe you can get the month thick. Now that you're not shadow funding, I'm actually pissed. I'm actually seething. Use the transports. I don't even know. Let's put them to Korea or something. Great. I'm being a vice GM now. Whatever. Yeah, well, you know, it's it's the least you can do, given... Oh, know. Spain! Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh my god. I'm coping and seething. Uh, send me that piece, Virtual Rock, with the two things. I'm gonna do another transfer on you. I've actually been shadow f Yeah, jeez, no wonder I'm running out of fucking oil. My if troops aren't busy. eating! Not the They're not eating! Oh, Belgian! <laughs> they won't eat it! Fucking stupid Belgian idiot. What do you think about this Japanese war where uh, Japan got sabotaged by the sub? It's, it's ridiculous. It's mental. It's crazy. But, it's funny. But, it's
Bombot's final revenge. And Spambot fucked over two players as soon as the session started. Who was the oh. other player? Me. We had uh, oh. Eastern Counties added. Lizard might actually manage to get away with most of that. Yeah, he will. Oh, uh, if he uh, does, if his org doesn't get completely fucked. Yeah, um, oh, he surrendered. No. No, he did. Damn. We did it, guys. We we beat the guy whose troops were weren't eating and were firing blanks. <laughs> well, looks like you should have hired uh, Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin. You should have hired <laughs> Alec Baldwin. Yeah, your troops were less than Alec Baldwin. Oh, God damn it! Listen, the diplo can still change. Why? You, hey, hey, stop attacking! Where, where is he attacking? Manchuria. I'm gonna talk to him. Calm it with the apostrophes. He's there. Watch that. Let's push the top key. Surrender? Are you speared Incas? Oh, fuck you. He begged for an instant's fear to fight the war and I delivered. I was there where you weren't. Stand and deliver. Yeah, right, I'm just gonna go for Stand and deliver! I am in spear now. Stand and deliver. I think Lizard can find better things to cry about. Spambot, I'm gonna ring your little fucking chicken neck. <laughs> I, it sounds like a clickbait. I shit talked the law and this happened. <laughs> I shit talked the law in the Spambot game and law, this yeah, happened. Chinese superior diplo game. We vote the fucking host. So let's just ally now. I'm done. I'm done with this game. <laughs> right. Lizard was high on adrenaline. Now he's high on copium. Now I'm high on nothing because I'm shadow funning opium. <laughs> you know, someone swapped Lizard's army with uh, Alec Baldwin's real prop gun the, with the black. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> the guns for the Japanese army were delivered from the set. There was a mix up. <laughs> And Alec Baldwin's gone fired a Japanese artillery piece at the woman. <laughs> be shot that was heard all over the Far East. Okay, so do I be based and announce the join? I think yeah. But yeah. Why is it even in question? Based. I didn't even plan that, but yeah, I'll okay, take it. Okay, okay. <laughs> Fuck it. Wait, what? This, this is my this is my step one in that. Hang on, Incas, if you want to help me kill Spambot, you can you can white piece this. Uh, is someone playing in Grand Colombia now? Yes, it's Spambot. Right. Who the fuck is Spambot? Yeah. <laughs> this is this is fucking stupid. Yeah. Oh, this, now I can kill Spambot. Wait, Hungary, Sierra Leone, wasn't that supposed to be transferred to someone? Yeah, I'm keeping it at this point. I guess. Change it's actually getting an influx of thousands of Hungarians. Well, I'll explain this to you very, very slowly. So Spambot kicked me off my nation last session and then Shadow funded, and apparently he told me and I didn't hear him, or he didn't tell me. So oh, I lost I that him. war. Okay, well, Come now on. I'm just coming to kill him. And the first step is uh, this. Lizard, you already bordered Sakim. Just deck on it already. Like, like why? Like why me? Like we could have been friends. And then Italy speared you. That's the second reason I'm doing this. Based. He wasn't in your sphere ever. So I do yeah, want to was, and then I left. Nothing I can do. You can send shit to the fucking South America. <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, it doesn't no, really matter. Yeah, yeah. Italian proxy war. No. If you send your army there, I'll send you ten brigades. <laughs> no. Come on. I value oh, my infamy reduction. And not fighting a pointless war. Like, Grand Colombia is in more of a position to do something in the war than Japan is right now. It's, you're actually getting more help, unless Japan sends massive amounts over. Grand Colombia needs sub, right? Yes. No, no, please don't go. No, please, nobody sub GC. I need to kill Spambot. Who's Spambot? Who's Spambot? Are you kidding me? This guy's back on Sakim. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not accepting that. Spambot, you need to stay on your country and face your fate like a man. Nah, right, whatever, I won't, I won't, I won't try. False start? You can't do a false start? Yep. Yeah, I actually can. So in that case, I wonder if Grand Colombia, when he finds out what the fuck's going on, will he still join against America? He probably should. Yeah, hold me on 13% war exhaustion for a month longer, he fucking retired. He's gonna start attacking you. There's the peace, he's got all the war goals. Just, just fucking kill me now. Oh boy, I can't wait for China to fight the Great War under Reno Combat. It's gonna be so much fun. You wanna know the funny part, Marksman? You're next. <laughs> no. So the epic war between America and the Incas continued for a few more months. At the absolute peak of the fighting, there were two battles raging at the same time in this war. But neither side could break through, this was just a stalemate war and they white pieced it. Neither Grand Colombia nor Japan joined it and it ends in white peace. Very anticlimactic down here in South America.
There's a fact check I need to do about my new sphereling, the Incas. They were, in fact, in the Japanese sphere previously, and for some reason before Italy started getting involved, Japan removed them from their sphere, probably because he wasn't making any money or something like that. But we really did help the Incas fight that war. He probably would have lost it if he wasn't able to reinforce anything without a great power sphere. We effectively got an infamy transfer from him, which is very useful for us to continue our conquest of the former Ottoman lands. There's a lot of regions we need to eat, so it takes a lot of time with truces and infamy, so it's really helpful that we got that from the Incas. This could be the beginning of a great partnership between Italy and the Inca Empire. Having a sphereling ally in the Americas is a great sign of a respectable great power, which is exactly what we want as Italy. And without even knowing it, we won an influence battle against Japan. But if the Incas was in Japan's sphere of influence, America is as well. So that would have been what I like to refer to as an enforced hug box, where they're not allowed to declare war on each other mechanically because they're in the same sphere. But anyway, speaking of Japan, now for the main war analysis of this video. The last war in the attempted Japanese conquest of China, which is now over. China won. And it all happened over shadow funding, Spambot being on the country after kicking Lizard off, Lizard coming back. It's brilliant stuff. Is it the next never forget that Jaeger encircled the navy? Let's wait for the rest of the series before we decide if he deserves that or not. Now here's the war analyzer for that war. Just imagine the confusion. Why aren't my units reinforcing? What's wrong with my industry? What's going on? 1.3 million casualties for Japan, 2 million casualties for the Qing Empire. The question we have to ask in the war analysis is, would Japan have won if he wasn't shadow funding? I think there's a very high chance that he could have, yes. All the indications are from the stats that I gave you at the start of the video that yes, being able to reinforce his army with his massive industry was the key difference and the biggest advantage that Japan had over China, with the military tech gap closing constantly. And the one mistake that Japan could possibly make to undo this industry advantage was to shadow fund and forget about it. I've actually seen this happen quite a few times, never mind a different player shadow funding and then you not knowing. I mean the same player shadow funding and then forgetting about it. But most of the time it becomes apparent because they're not reinforcing and then they remember. This is really tragic from Japan's point of view when you look back at the campaign and the moves he made early on to pit both the Chinese players against each other and then attack them both. That was so good and it's all lost because he couldn't keep his mouth shut and he got kicked off the country. What Japan is going to do now after this is anyone's guess. You might expect him to go after some East Indies colonies, continue conquering India. Those are the two main things I think a rational player would do. But who knows what Japan is going to be after the horrors that happened to him. Arguably even more terrifying is what will China do? We will see what both of these East Asian nations do in the future of the Venice series. There's just one more thing I have to mention briefly. The Belgian Confederacy with Ching Chu went in against Pantaginia and won a quick victory and puppeted him. However, I heard people mention in the session that the Belgian Confederacy can't form Arcadia without taking his cores from Plantagenia first, then puppeting him. So we'll see how that goes with the Plantagenia player actually remaining to play as a puppet, and Vinland is still there, he has never left. In the next part of the Venice series, there is going to be another European war, but absolutely not the one that you expect. In fact, if anyone wants to try predicting what the exact sides of the next European war will be, I can guarantee you will all be wrong. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. There's three icons coming up on the screen now. Yep, there they are. You can join them if you want and check them out. Or not, it's up to you. Have a nice day. Bye. That's all for today. Goodbye.